Well, my pond water's uh, more or less clean today. Uh, I can see straight to the bottom. Uh, UV polarizing filters. Yes, very good idea. Uh, but you need a rotary one. One that you can turn uh, so that you get the correct polarization for the water. Uh, I have one on my big camera, but my big camera's uh, far too big for the pond here. Anyway, today it's Algerson Day. Algerson is uh, this. When I first started Algerson, I put a full dose in, and afterwards I put in just a half a dose each month. This keeps all the algae away from the walls and free uh, out of the pond. My water is normally clear and I only use two at the moment, two cheap bins which work fine. This one here and this one here. This one collects all the, the last remnants of anything. Uh, in the water. You see it's got a bit green there. Uh, it's been standing in here for about two months or something. So that's fine. Uh, ponds are going to be all done this summer. Good luck. Uh, this is my Algerson ready mixed. Ready to go. And I did a water test first. And my water parameters are spot on. So we'll get some of this thrown into the water. As you see, it's a, a milky colour. I was in whether the uh, water's coming back into the pond. Put a half in, um, a half of the container in, and I put another half of the container in in about an hour's time. The water does go a little bit milky for about an hour, two hours tops, depending on the amount you put in. Uh, but will dissipate straight away. I found that it's great for uh, algae. I never have any problems with algae. Algae sin is also good for green water I hope to get the netting off here this year as, uh, I'm going to take off the uh, decking which is on the top and replace it with uh, tiles a proper slate uh, from an a quarry which is up in the northeast here. And you can see that it's spreading through the water now, but it's not really made any uh, discoloration of the water. So that's Algerson. Oh,